existential predicament continues. I have nothing to post from UT3, so I'm going with this. So, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this will be short. This is one of the uh, safeguarding cargo missions that they just introduced with the last update. I saw a, um, saw another YouTube character, I think Ricardo Gaming like that, uh, did, a, did a real slick presentation on this. And um, I wasn't really looking to try this. Uh, but I saw this mission out here and they were giving away it's, uh, it was five genetic, uh, five genetic research units or something like that. It was something that I needed to use with the uh, with Terra Velasquez. I want to get uh, combat speed movement on this on this uh, level five Dominator suit, and this this is the last material I need to get that. I just unlocked uh, Terra Velasquez earlier today. Uh, apparently. I was doing all these um, covert theft and heist missions and she wasn't unlocking and I thought I just misread the requirements but actually there was a bug in the game and supposedly they fixed that today and after my next covert mission she unlocked okay so I'm all set to go and I get I get the upgrade I want off of her and get the referral I can, get the referral that I want off of her from the next guy. But anyway, yeah, this is uh, safeguarding a cargo mission. Uh, there's a there's a box up here at the base. You just have to stick by it and keep the uh, incoming waves of enemies from uh, basically towing it away. I was a little bit worried when, after I took this because after I took it, I noticed that there was a I noticed that there was a a, a team icon on it, meaning that this apparently this is a mission that's intended for you to have a bunch of your buddies out there with you. And, uh, and I was like, yeah, well, that's not going to happen. It's just going to be me out here. Got a visual. Well, they do give you some bots to help you out. But the bots are all going to die about halfway through. I'm thinking about trying to shoot them as they come out that ship, but I will actually take a crack at that later, but I have no idea where to aim for that. I might try that again later. I'm not sure how well that would work. Probably not a bad idea. The main problem I'm having here, as this starts to get into the more hairier parts, you know, after all your buddies have died, and you're trying to hold back the last grave by yourself, because this, this, this does get a little hairy. Uh, and the main problem I have is that I tend to I tend to get all tangled up in uh, in weapon switching and reloading. You know? My movements get get pretty spastic, I think. I'm a little worried about that. But, but this turned out to be a lot more doable than I thought. I, I really was not. I really was not. I was really not expecting to make it to do this thing because I kept thinking, "Oh, okay, yeah, this is a this is a team game, right?" Yeah, yeah I'm shooting my own people there. Get a little flustered. Yeah, I was a little worried because this was supposed. This is being presented as a uh, as a team mission, but. Clearly, it's not impossible. Uh, no doubt, it helps to have upgrades. So, so this is a this is a G5 Dominator suit. Uh, it doesn't have any engineering upgrades on it, except for. Uh, Increased melee damage, which I'm not using here at all. I would not have I would not have built up a suit with the increased melee damage on it if I'd known if I'd known what it actually was at the time. I would have waited and got a different one, but I've decided to make this one work for me. And maybe I'll maybe I'll upgrade another one without it. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down to two guys now. Suit 
I don't know how random these uh, defense sites are. I notice on this one they give you they give you an ammunition dump, so that's nice of them. But there's no power supply anywhere. Yeah. I'm trying to shoot as they come out. I have no idea where to aim. I did find a little bit later on that there there is a there is a power there is a power out there a little bit down the road, but there really isn't time to run up there and use it. But fortunately, this mash didn't last uh, didn't last uh, any longer than the than the two power power batteries I'm carrying with me lasted. So I made it through fine with just those. if I tried to more directly support the guys that are fighting alongside me here, but I'm really making no attempt at that. I'm just... I'm just trying to burn down enemies as fast as I can figure out here. Figure out how to. Yeah, it's getting a little hairy now. They're starting to get into where they're going to try to steal the cargo. Where I'm getting really, this is, I'm getting pretty clustered here. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to switch weapons, and none of them are loaded, and I don't want to spend the time it takes to load on. And yeah, they're, yeah, they're in the, they're in the process of doing it now. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it together. Yeah, see ya. Make sure you Got it! Shield down! Grenade inbound! Yeah, I think I got a handle on it from here. Yeah, I did get to put in a few extra hours this week because I had an extra day off, so I managed to... I managed to get clear the hospital is unlocked. I managed to update this AR-50 to level 5. Uh, the little ray gun is already level 5. Yeah, it won't be long here. I'll be able to get some. I'll, I'll be able to get some more significant upgrades on these things. I want to get uh, stowed reloading on the AR-50 and the ray gun both, and the rocket launcher. That was nice. The rocket launcher is still level four. Uh, faster handling on everything. I've got faster handling on the AR-50 on the AR-50 and the ray gun. I got head I got headshot damage on the ray gun. I think it came with that. try to make a sniper out of it. It's all it's got it came with longer range on it. I think I was thinking well if I get a scope on it you know with the longer range maybe I could snipe with it. But no I don't think that's really gonna be possible. Um, the ammunition is really kind of anemic even at level five. So 
Well, it's not exactly a. It's definitely not. It's definitely gonna never, never gonna be a one shot kill type of thing. But I'm thinking maybe if I put uh, the the uh, if I put the bigger magazine on it and maybe run it with a C with expanded ammo with expanded ammo storage on it, that might be worthwhile because it you basically have to sh you basically have to use up a lot of ammo to kill anybody with it. But you can shoot a pretty pretty good distance. You can shoot a pretty good distance with it. Oh, we're done. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Well. Yeah, that is a, this is actually kind of a fun mission, and it pays pretty well. And yeah, I believe these are supposed to be team-based missions, so these are supposed to be the hard ones, I guess. But. I mean, if you know anything at all, but if you can, well, you know, they're not that hard if you, if, if you, if you, uh, they're not that hard. And they're fun, so that's, that's a good thing. Alright, well that's all I got. Have a good day.